Hi, my name is Mike Scott, Industrial Product Manager for The Modal Shop. And in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to a new and disruptive technology in the vibration marketplace called the Digital Vibration Meter Kit. So I'm old enough to remember when you had devices for every different task that you had in your life, like fitness or um, global positioning, and now everything's done with your phone. Same with vibration. The Digital Vibration Meter Kit features a digital accelerometer that allows technicians to capture basic vibration data quickly, easily, and most importantly, accurately with their smartphone. And because we're using our smartphone, this solution is available at a fraction of the cost of some of the press-on vibration meters that exist in the market. In today's video, we're going to discuss some of the technical advantages to the digital vibration meter kit as compared to a press-on vibration meter. And to do that, we're going to use a 2075E vibration shaker that I have behind me and a smart sign calibration driver so that we can generate a known vibration signal and see how these different solutions stack up against one another. This is our test setup to show the functionality of the vibration meters in this video and the digital vibration meter kit. On the left side, we have a model 2075 shaker. The shaker has a lot of force so it can drive uh, vibration into the vibration meters even though I might be applying a lot of force. It's also good for testing electronic vibration switches and other heavy instrumentation that you find in the industrial market. On top of the shaker, I have a reference accelerometer mounted and it has a little uh, disc at the top to give me a target for um, the magnetically mounted digital vibration sensor. But my reference accelerometer is going to tell us the known vibration uh, that's being generated by the shaker table. Uh, between the uh, shaker table and the controller, I do have this amplifier. The amplifier is amplifying the signal from uh, the smart sign calibration driver, which is the final piece of the puzzle here on top of the amplifier. And the smart sign calibration driver provides us an easy to use interface that tells us the known vibration that's coming from the shaker table and allows us to adjust the amplitude and frequency simply by turning these knobs. For more information on this equipment, check out our website, modalshop.com. Now let's take a look at some of the common pitfalls of typical press-on vibration meters. In my left hand, I have the old SKF vibration meter, which will measure in inches per second peak velocity. And in my right hand, I have the fluke vibration meter that measures in inches per second RMS. Let's take a look at the SKF vibration pen. I have my shaker shaking at one inch per second peak. And if I mount the pen straight up and down, it's actually pretty accurate. I'm getting exactly one inch per second peak on the screen. Let me press the hold button and bring it closer to the cam here. And you can see the top number is one inch per second peak. But if I change my mounting angle, I'm going to get a different result. Once again, I'm going to mount it straight up and down. And again, I get one inch per second peak. But if my technician accidentally changes his angle, all of a sudden I lose a lot of that vibration signal. And so now at about a 30 degree angle, I'm down to 0 0.80 inches per second peak. So that's one of the pitfalls of a press on vibration meter. The nice thing about the fluke vibration meter that you press to the machine is it has a force measurement component that gives you a red light if you're not applying the right force or a green light if you are applying the right force. So to use this, you press the measure button and then you press it to the machine. And I'm looking for the green light at the top and now my goal is to keep my force the same and wait for my measurement to come up. And I got 1.03 inches per second RMS. I've switched my shaker to RMS because this meter measures RMS. So, but now it's not foolproof because I can hold this at an angle and still get the green light. So let's try one more time. I press measure. I, I'm gonna hold it at an angle. I got a green light. It's taking data. I'm at about a 15 degree angle. And when you do that, your vibration measurement changes just like it did on the SKF unit. 
It's not as bad because my angle is less. Um, I won't get the green light if I hold it at a 30 degree angle. But you can see that my measurement was inconsistent. I got 0 0.96 inches per second RMS. And I still got the green light. This is the K333D01-VM digital vibration meter kit broken down. We have the digital vibration accelerometer itself, as well as a QR code for a free download of the VibeCheck application. The digital accelerometer terminates in a USB, so it can be connected to a laptop. But we also supply adapters for your iPhone and for your Android phone. And finally, for mounting, my favorite mount is the magnet. This is a 35 pounds pull force curved surface magnet, which comes with a mounting stud. And there's a spare mounting stud as well supplied in the bottom of the digital accelerometer. And finally, we have a probe tip if you do want to press the digital accelerometer against the machine. All of these items conveniently fit inside of a carrying holster that attaches to your belt. This is the VibeCheck app. You can find it in the App Store by typing uh, VibeCheck as you see on the screen. Uh, when you buy the kit, you also receive this QR code to uh, take you to an automatic download of the app. So this is the basic vibration measurement screen. We have acceleration in Gs and velocity in inches per second. Um, that was the measurement that I just took and you see the, the red line uh, next to velocity because my velocity was greater than uh, my maximum allowable velocity per my settings. So I'll get to that in just a minute, uh, but you can take six measurement points. So this is point one, then you swipe through for points two through six, just swiping left or swiping right to go from point to point, and I'll show you why that's important in just a second. Um, what are the vibration thresholds? Well, if you press uh, the, it's called the hamburger menu up here at the top right, and you click on ISO group selection, you'll see what I have mine set to. So if my vibration is more than 0 0.433 inches per second here um, RMS, I'll get a little red line next to my velocity measurement. And you can choose uh, what type of machine you're measuring down here at the bottom, and these vibration thresholds will change uh, based on the equipment that you're taking vibration data on. If I go back, um, I wanted to show what the six points are for. So the uh, six points can be recorded here uh, if you swipe left and right, as you saw. And once I've recorded six points, I can actually create a PDF report for the machine that I'm measuring. So if I hit that hamburger menu again, and then I hit generate PDF report, you can see here that there's a, a nine page report that comes out. The first two pages are the most useful. You can take a picture of the machine and put it on the first page. I didn't do that. I didn't want to uh, violate any copyright rules. So I just put the modal shop logo there and you can title your report as well. And then here on, on the second page, you see the six different test points and the um, velocity that we measured as well as the acceleration that we measured and whether or not it crossed the uh, acceptable threshold or was in the caution zone or what have you for that uh, particular machine. And then finally, I just wanted to show that for creating the report, if you wanted to take a picture of the machine or change the title, you just hit the camera up here at the top and then you can take a picture using your, your mobile phone, of course, by hitting the camera button and it'll access your camera or you can use an existing picture and then you can, you can change the title of your report right here and even put in some notes below that'll print on the, uh, the PDF report. And so that's a quick tour of the VibeCheck app. The digital accelerometer that's part of the digital vibration meter kit, model K333D01, is magnetically mounted. When magnetically mounting any transducer, the best technique is to get the corner of the magnet down on the machine and then rotate the magnet into place slowly. If you uh, slap the magnet against the machine, you'll get an overshock event. And when you're using a vibration analyzer, that's when you get a ski slope type of measurement. So let's, we're shaking at one inch per second RMS. Let's take a look at what data we accomplish. And I, my measurement is 
0.048 inches per second RMS, so pretty close to the known vibration value of one inch per second RMS. So you can see how the digital vibration meter kit helps your technicians make more accurate vibration readings using a digital accelerometer and improving the mounting technique while pairing that with the VibeCheck application. It doesn't stop there. There are more applications in the App Store that improve the functionality of your digital accelerometer and give you great benefits like FFTs. Be sure to check them out and go to digiducer.com to learn more about these great applications in the App Store. In order to buy the Digiducer online, just go to your favorite web browser and type in K333DO1-VM and you'll find a host of websites with more information. Thank you for watching.